Looked awful good. We'll get dessert next time, I promise. If it wasn't the first time home alone, it wouldn't be a problem. Thank It'll you. just make me feel better if we don't stay out too late. Too late? Honey, they've only been alone for an hour and a half. I mean, what could go wrong in an hour and a half? You should be congratulating me on my creativity. Most brothers would have just jumped out of the closet and yelled boo. Come on, Mom. You're not really gonna send me away, are you? A little time away from home will do you good. Are you serious? Did you read the brochure? The perfect school. Why settle for anything less than perfect? Are they kidding? Come on. I said I'm sorry a billion times. No one in this family can take a joke. What you did went well beyond a joke, Brian. And it wasn't the first time. You scared poor Riley to death. Of course I did. That's what older brothers do. Somebody's got to teach him not to be such a sucker all of his life. In case I didn't make myself clear before, again, I'm just really sorry. Good luck, son. Goodbye, sweetie. I hope you learned something from this experience. Thing I'm gonna learn is how to waste most of my summer vacation. To the party. I'm CJ. Brian. What you in for? Being stupid enough to get caught too many times? At what? Whatever. Yeah. Me too. What's his story? Looks like he belongs in a church and not on his way to Camp Perfecto. Name's Joe. That's all he told me. I can't believe they're doing this to me.
Stand where you are. This guy looks like a load of laughs. <laughs> no talking. No one move until I return. Look at that kid. As promised, your perfect boy. Hello, mother. Hello, father. He looks perfect. What do you think he was like when he got here? I said, relinquish all personal items. Hey, you missed a spot. What is going on here? All I said was that he missed a spot. Yeah? And I'm gonna clean it up with your face. Stop this at once. You've been warned before, Mr. Brown. Your program will be accelerated. But, but he started it. And I'm finishing it. Take him away. No! Gentlemen, your lives as you know them are about to change for the better. Your days of disobedience and troublemaking have come to an end. From this moment forward, you will do what you are told, when you are told. Do not speak unless spoken to, do not move unless directed to. You may not like it, but this is the way we do things here. Gentlemen, welcome to the perfect school. Beds in this place be any harder to sleep on? Yeah, not so bad. At least the food is good. Time with this food, right? So, what do you think happened to Mr. Tough Guy? Who? From yesterday? The dude with the mop and the attitude problem? He's not with the rest of them. I got a bad feeling about this place. You can eat this? take some sort of aptitude test, you know. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? That kind of stuff. You will complete the workbooks I am handing out. All questions must be fully answered. Begin the moment you receive them. And... No talking. There must be a million pages here. Yeah. Check out the questions. What's your favorite food? What do you call your parents? What's your first memory? What kind of test is this? What's your name, son? Check it out. Looks like Joe found a new friend. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. Still think it's not so bad? Could be worse. 
Yeah, how? They could take away our toothbrushes. Hello, Brian. Hey. I just want to apologize for the misunderstanding yesterday. Please forgive me. I was quite rude. Yeah, well, forget about it. They accelerated my program. I'm going home today. Good for you. Well, it was nice meeting the both of you. Good luck. What happened to him? I don't know. I'm not letting it happen to me. Where are you going? Home. Ryan. Ryan, wait, you're gonna get caught. Sir, fine. Now. I'll take the back gate. Great. Lockdown of the facility and a door-to-door -door head count. Anyone caught outside the room will be severely punished. Whoever it is may already be gone, sir. No one's escaped from the perfect school. And no one ever will. This is your headmaster. Open up. Come for next. Open the door. This is your headmaster. Sir. Who is it? Brian O'Connor. This is your headmaster, Mr. O'Connor. Open the door. I said open the door, Mr. O'Connor. Open it up. I might have known. Known what, sir? Sorry I took so long. I thought it would be rude for me to answer the door in my pajamas. 
accounted for. Good night, Mr. O'Connor. See, your escape was a great success. I'd like to see you try it. There's an electric fence all around this place. Guards, searchlights. This isn't a school, it's a prison. Haven't you read the brochures? Satisfaction guaranteed or your parents' money back? You think they're gonna let you just walk out of here? No. An escape is gonna have to be planned. Carefully thought out. Hey, Waldo, the guardians want you to clean the toilets. That was you last night, wasn't it? You were the one who tried to escape. It's cool. I'm not gonna snitch on you. Besides, maybe somebody already beat me to it. So the washrooms are clean? Yeah, okay. Joe? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. But he did get moved to a bigger room this morning. And he had a bigger serving at breakfast, too. Maybe a little stunt last night paid off for him. Your tie's crooked. That's better. Thanks. scared you. What are you doing here? I couldn't sleep. I thought maybe we could hang out. No, no, no. No, I'm staying in my room, and you better get back to yours if you don't want to get caught. Why do you say that? Is your little guardian buddy roaming the halls tonight? Good night, Brian. You better hope I don't get caught, Joe. Because if I do, I might think you had something to do with it. Good night. Gotta get me out of here. Brian, why are you calling so late? What's wrong? There's a lot of really freaky stuff going on here. I wanna come home. You have to come and get me. Brian, is this another prank? You're only making it harder on yourself. Mom, there's something wrong here. There are these voices. Hello, Mrs. O'Connor. This is the headmaster. I just wanna reassure you that we're doing everything possible to change Brian. He's a bit of a tough case, but we guarantee he'll be just perfect when you come to pick him up. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connor. Bye-bye. Your program will be accelerated mm. starting tonight. Get him out of here.
oranges. Oranges. Brown eyes, brown hair. Chin, three inches. Chest. Chest, 37 inches. Brian, are you awake? Brian, you awake? Brian, you awake? Brian, you awake? Man, you totally overslept. You gotta be in class in five minutes. before you go to bed. I don't know. It didn't feel like a dream. No talking. Betty's a spy. I was thinking the same thing. That's it! What are you doing here? They sent you to spy on me? Spy on you? What are you talking about? I took too long getting a drink and the Guardian got mad. How stupid do you think I am? I don't know. How stupid are you? You're not fooling anyone, okay? Me and CJ figured it out. Oh, you did, huh? Look, you think I've been all warm and friendly with these guys because I'm working for them? Man, I'm a better actor than I thought. What are you talking about? Ever heard the phrase, go along to get along? Can't say that I have. Look, they think I love it here. They say I'm the most cooperative student they've ever had. And you know what? I'm the last person they'd ever expect to escape from this place. You're gonna escape? Tonight. Wanna come with me? Why? So you can ride on me? Forget it. I told you I'm not on their side. Brian O'Connor. You I'd expect to see here, but Joe, I'm surprised at you. You've made such tremendous progress, unlike some. It's 
gotta be a way out of here. Unauthorized computer access in section D. I'm on my way, over. What are you guys hiding? Okay, let's see what they got on me. I'm almost done. It's all clear. It must have been a system malfunction. Over. office. I was. And I got to the computer system. What? Yeah. And it said my program was almost finished. Great. That means you get to go home soon. Yeah, right. You see what the kids look like to come out of here. I don't want to end up like that, do you? I gotta get out of here now. Well, if you're going, I'm going with you. Cool. I know I can count on you. Meet me in the laundry room. We'll hide in a pile of clothes. When they come to pick up the laundry in the morning, they'll take us with them. Just look in the movies. One distraction coming up. Hey! He did it. You! Your history! Fight, fight, fight! Fight, fight, fight! fight, 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 fight. All you guys are going on report. If you don't stop that, right now! Now, as for you, Mr.
Sir, we have a fight in Sector A. Brian O'Connor. What's wrong? I know how they do it. How they do what? How they create the perfect kid. They're cloning us. The voices, they're the real kids. They must be locked away downstairs. They send their replacements home with the parents. That's impossible. No, no it's not. They did it with sheep over in Scotland. These guys, they just took it a step further. How do you know all this? I saw my clone. He's in a tank in there. They're growing him right now to replace me. We can't wait for the laundry. We gotta go now. Come on, I think I know a way. Where are we going? Trust me. You're not going anywhere. What? The laundry truck just left without you. Say hello to your new roommates. You should be more careful who you trust, Brian. You were watching me right from the start, weren't you? Just not the spy. You are. Look on the bright side. Your parents are gonna get what they always wanted. The perfect kid. Your clone's almost ready.
You're not going anywhere. Except back to the lockup with the rest of them. <laughs> Anyone for more dessert? Oh, not me. I'm stuffed. Riley. No, thanks, Mom. Brian. No, thanks, Mom. That was a wonderful dinner. Can I help you with the dishes? I can't get over the change in you. No, thanks, honey. That's okay. I'll get them. May I please be excused? You may. Let me know if you need any help with your homework. I liked them better the other way. You gotta get me out of here. I keep telling you. The real Brian shoved me in here and took my spot. I am the clone. Brian O'Connor's clone. Yeah, I'm a clone too. Come on, you gotta get me out of here. Come on, please. You gotta get me out of here. I am Joe Roberts' clone. We're all clones. Let us all out. We're Come all on. Nice try. I'm stuck. What happened? Someone put glue on my chair. Really? Why would someone do that on purpose? Must have been an accident. Operation Rescue. Don't worry, guys. I'll get you out of there. It's the last thing I do.